hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're so well today i'm coming at you from a really old spot um i'm filming in my living room today and if you guys have been with me for a while you'll know these green walls i mean obviously you know them from the weekly vlogs but if you don't watch the vlogs and you're here for like sit down videos I used to film all of my videos in this room and all of my videos were green. <laughs> I just felt like filming in here today. So I hope you guys don't mind the slightly different setup. In fact, I hope you like the slightly new setup, I should say. <laughs> I hope you're tolerating the new setup. I need to calm down. Okay. Oh God. Oh God. Dominoes. Here we go. Mm. That is now cold. Took me a while to set up. <laughs> so today it is time for my June monthly favorites and Project 10 Pan update, which means that I have now been doing Project 10 Pan for six months. I have not purchased one beauty product in half a year, which is insane. And I know that's a very privileged thing for me to be able to say that it's insane that I've not bought a makeup product. For somebody who has been a makeup collector, for well over 10 years now um to be able to say i've not purchased an item of makeup in six months is quite a big deal obviously i am a slight exception because i do get sent pr and brands do send me new releases so i do get my fix you know there are products and releases that have come out i am desperate to try that i'm not on the pr list for that i'm just waiting to be able to get so as always i'm going to start with my favorites of the month and then i will update you on any changes to my project temper if you like these videos make sure you subscribe i would love to have you join and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel the first favorite is a biggie an example of a new launch that i was very kindly sent and it is fenty's newest lip products these are the slip shine sheer shiny lipsticks from Fenty and I love the shade 05 Glazed and 04 Makeout Break. Right now I'm actually wearing the shade Makeout Break which is the slightly lighter nude but I do think I've actually been wearing Glazed the most. This has been my absolute go-to lip product this month. My lips have been so, so dry and I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's hay fever. Is that, does that make your lips dry? I think it might be partially because the filler in my lips have dissolved now and the filler is hyaluronic acid, which hydrates the skin. And I think that now that all of that has dissolved, maybe my lips are getting more dry. I think that could be it, but I could be wrong. And those are super shiny and glossy. They aren't sticky at all. They don't feel like a lip gloss. They're really moisturizing and they just have this beautiful sheer wash of color and you don't need a mirror to put them on. You just bung them on and I love so many, but obviously the two nudes are the ones I wear the most, but yeah, really, really great launch. Very, very happy with those. The second product is actually another product from Fenty and this is an old product that I've had for a long time. This is the Fenty Beauty Universal Setting Powder. This is truly a universal setting powder. I mean, you can probably tell that I've been using the crap out of this. I used to love it and then I started baking more. And um, recently I've just been liking a much more natural base, a much more natural look in general. And I haven't really been baking my face at all. I've been switching between this and the Charlotte Tilbury Air Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder. But I think the Fenty for this month has probably taken the cake. It is the thinnest, most finely milled powder ever. And obviously I've not tested it on every single skin tone, but I am pretty sure that the word universal is right. I don't think that there's gonna be a white cast even on the deepest skin tones, but please, if you are of a deeper skin tone and you like this powder, please comment down below and let other girls know because I know that a lot of the time, um, finding a translucent setting powder for the deep dark category is pretty difficult. Hopefully this is actually a universal shade and I love it under my eyes it's so smoothing it doesn't crease it doesn't get oily it's just a great great powder and it's a great handbag powder as well two favorites from plenty in a row Alrighty, the next favorite is a hair product which i got sent recently it is from bondi boost and this is the elixir hair oil now they kindly sent me out a package full of loads of their products to try out and i said in last week's vlog like would you guys like me to because i'm getting my hair cut 
on the 20, or is it the 15th? Yeah, I'm getting my hair cut on the 15th. I'm so excited, so excited. Hair cut, color, the whole shebang cannot wait and i said to you guys would you like me to from like a fresh cut test and review the bondi boost range because it's supposedly meant to make your hair grow there was quite a lot of interest in that so i think i will be doing that probably on my instagram i, I might talk about it a bit in the vlogs as well i tried this the other day and i love it i used it kind of like a scalp treatment because i get a really really dry scalp i always have it just gets really dry it's not fun. And the other day it was particularly bad. So I saw this and I was like, I'm gonna give this a go. I put it all throughout my hair and really rubbed it into my scalp and I left it on for a few hours. It says leave on for how long? 15 minutes. <laughs> Use over time. Hair appears healthier, hydrated and softer than a puppy's ears. I mean, if that doesn't sell it to you, then I don't know what will. Yeah, I rubbed it through the lengths through the scalp and when I tell you my hair feels so soft and it doesn't feel weighed down obviously it's an oil but it's a really light oil I double cleansed it I did two shampoos and then I put conditioner on and then once it dried it didn't feel like I had any oil residue it didn't weigh my hair down it still feels bouncy and um, volumized but just really really soft I really really like this and I'll continue to use this like as a kind of like a treatment like once a week I'd say speaking of dry lips <laughs> dry everything at the moment my skin is just really dry right now I've been loving this this is the Too Faced hangover pillow balm lip treatment I really love this as you can probably tell there's a not loads left it smells kind of coconutty like the whole hangover range but I love this because it kind of looks like a lip gloss and it feels like a veil over your lips. And I only use this once a day. I put this on just before I go to sleep. So I'll do my whole skincare routine and then I'll pop this on just before I go to bed. And when I wake up, my lips still feel like they've got balm on them. Feels amazing because a lot of the time I put on a lip balm and feel like I need to put it back on like an hour later. Whereas this lasts throughout the entire night. For me, it's a bit heavy for during the day. Um, it's, it is like a lip gloss, but for during the night, it's the perfect kind of lip. I mean, it says it's like a lip treatment. It's exactly what it says on the tin. It's kind of like a hair mask for your lips. Like a, it's a lip mask. <laughs> and I look forward to putting this on every night because I just, my lips, like the whole border of my lip is like peeling. And this feels so nice and kind of tingly as well, which, I quite like. I've really been enjoying that as well. Two more beauty favorites, and then I've got a couple of lifestyle favorites, and then onto Project Tempan. The next beauty favorite is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I know that I'm really late to the boat on this one, and I took it traveling with me, but I didn't really wear much foundation, and I just didn't really end up using this. But the other day I tried it, and I mixed it with like a illuminating primer, like illuminating drops, and I fell in love with it. I really love this primer. I know so many people talk about it. Jackie Ina swears by this primer. She always talks about it, but she's got oily skin and I've got dry skin. So I was like, oh, I just won't try it. Because she talked about it so much, I bought it. I bought the small one to give it a go. It is such an interesting feeling. It makes your skin look like plastic, a smooth, surface that things just glide on top of and then it sticks them down like stick sticks your makeup is not going anywhere when you use this primer it feels just so lovely but it's such a weird like sticky kind of jelly i don't know if you can see that but it's like sticky which is great because you want something sticky because you're you, you want your makeup to stick to it but it is like so weird it's also so smoothing and blurring but it's really really nice and i'm excited to be able to buy the full size when i'm allowed to buy new makeup okay my final beauty favorite luckily enough is actually also one of my project 10 pans so this is the hourglass ambient lighting edit so this is in my project 10 pan and i want to use up two colors and I think hit pan on one. I think that's what I said. As you can see, I've gone in on this highlighting, brightening under eye powder. I'm actually wearing it under my eyes today mixed with the Fenty powder. But the favorites of the month are in fact 
the bronzer and the blush. I have been wearing these every day. It's the quickest thing. They just blend together so beautifully because neither of them are matte. They both have a little bit of kind of a sheen to them, which makes them look so natural on the skin. I've been going for a much more natural look recently with my makeup, like much more kind of blush, less contour, more bronzy. These are the colors that I've been wearing every single day. And I love to use this bronzer on top of a cream bronzer just to set it because um, it's quite a sheer bronzer but it just sets it in place gives you a bit of glow um, and this beautiful kind of lit from within look and it's oh my god it's just stunning i am easily gonna hit pan on these and the names are luminous flush and luminous bronze light if you're wondering what the shade names are so you don't have to buy the whole palette okay so i've got a youtuber slash instagram favorite that i have been obsessed with for a couple of months now her name is janae daly and well her name's not janae daly i believe her name's janae brown screen name is janae daly yes janae brown okay it is right <laughs> i just got her instagram up to check so I found her originally on YouTube and I'll link her channel down below. She is the biggest bundle of joy. She is like sunshine. She just makes me feel calm. She makes me feel happy. Her house is stunning. She does loads of interior homeware, which I, you guys know I love. And she speaks so positively about life. She just seems like the kindest soul and I just wanna be her best friend. So I'm obsessed with her. I've been watching all of her videos and um, I'll link her down below. I think she's amazing. And I'll also link her Instagram because her Instagram is just outrageous. It's so beautiful. Look at this girl, look how gorgeous she is. Love Janae. So I will link her down below and I really think you should go follow her. A couple of other lifestyle favorites. I've actually got two tea favorites. The first one is the new Tea Pigs Cold Brew sachets. This one's peach and mango. This one's the best. I also like the rose and lychee, but nowhere near as much as peach and mango. These are really cool. They're just regular tea bags and you put them in water, cold water for seven minutes and it makes this. You just brew your own iced tea. It's literally the same as making a cup of tea, except with cold water. This is actually a Joseph and Joseph bottle that Tea Pigs sent out to me. Tim and I drink these all the damn day. And I love this bottle as well, because you click it and it counts how many times you've refilled it, which I think is quite cool, because I'm trying to up my water game again. And the other tea favorite has been my nighttime tea. I just got the box out of the recycling. It is the Twinings Sleep super blend so it's spiced apple and vanilla with chamomile and passion flower i mean for a start i think this packaging is so cute i love it i have always been kind of skeptical of herbal and fruit and mint teas because they smell so much better than they taste every single time without exception this is the closest i've found that actually tastes as good as it smells it's not quite as strong as it smells but it's the closest thing I've found. It tastes like stewed apple. It's like liquidized stewed apple and it like spiced apple and vanilla. Doesn't that just sound delightful? And it's caffeine free and chamomile super calming. And um, so it helps you sleep basically. So Tim's a huge herbal tea drinker and he bought these and I tried one and I've fallen in love with them. And now he's not here. I'm drinking all of his. I actually know I bought myself my own box, hence the recycling box. I do have a music favorite, which I'm sure will not be a surprise to you when I say Jason Mraz's latest album. Jason Mraz recently released a reggae album and I love it so much. Um, I talk about him all the time and my friends take the piss out of me for it, um, but he makes my soul happy. He truly, truly does and he does these live streams. So I've been hearing like samples of all of the songs for the build up to the album, but he dropped the album and it's all I've been listening to. So yeah, if you guys have not listened to Look For The Good by Jason Mraz yet, the album, then I recommend that you do if you need a little pick me up. Okay, I have one last lifestyle favorite, my air fryer. You will have seen it in my most recent cooking video. I love my air fryer. An air fryer is basically like a mini oven that you need really minimal oil for, which makes things really, really crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. And you can cook so many things with it. And I've just been playing with it. 
I've been meal prepping so much because it's so easy to do with it. I make granola, I cook my chicken, veggies, roasted veg is so easy to do. I make kale chips, chickpea chips. I made a pop tart, apricot tart. Like the possibilities are endless and it's just so easy. And it's so easy to clean. You can bung it in the dishwasher. You can put, imagine if you could put your whole oven just in the dishwasher and that's how you clean it. The only downside is it's really big and bulky and ugly but it's kind of worth it to me. It's great. It really is great. It's changed the game. So if you're kind of on the fence, umming and ahhing, I would recommend it. And I'll link the one that I have down below for you if you'd like to check one out. Onto the final stage of the video, onto Project 10 Pan. So it has been six months since I started Project 10 Pan and I have not broken once. I have not bought one makeup, hair, beauty, skincare, fake tan product in six months. Apart from deodorant, that's the one thing I've bought. To reiterate, I know that I'm very lucky that I get sent things, so I haven't gone without anything new, but as of buying extra, spending my own money, which even though I get sent a lot of stuff, sorry, if you're wondering what this is, I burnt myself on the oven. My air fryer wouldn't do that to me. I used to spend quite a lot of money on makeup because I saw myself as a makeup collector, which I guess I still am, but nowhere near as much as I was back in the day. Like it used to be what I spent all my money on. I'm gonna say coming out of this when it eventually ends, because I still have, I think I'm halfway through. Hang on, let me think. Well, I guess before I say that, guess what I finished? <laughs> it's done. You are done, you're out, you're done, you are done mate. I love this foundation though. Like this Project 10 Pan has made me fall in love with the Chanel Vita Lumia Aqua, but I'm not gonna repurchase this for a very long time. I am sick to death of this foundation. It's excellent, it's a beautiful foundation and I have worn this every single day for like five months trying to use it up and it's only just finished and you guys know this has been the product that I it's like the bottomless pit of products but it's finally gone it's finally gone as project 10 pan works I now need to replace this with a new product to finish so the product that I need to finish now the Smashbox photo finish primerizer primer and moisturizer in one now I bought this a while ago because the Anna Edit and Alana Davidson they both used to speak about this all the damn time. And I have dry skin, so I was like, yes. Like, I love Alana's recommendations because she also has dry skin and she loves to glow. So I'm always like, yes, get that on my face. And I just never really clicked with it. I don't know, it just never really wowed me. It's not thick enough for me. It's a little bit too light. Like, it absorbs a bit too quickly for me. I like a little bit of, like, I don't know. I feel like I love it mixing in with my foundation, making it all like one big mush on my face. Whereas this, I feel like, it sinks in and it's gone. It just feels like a moisturizer more than a primer, which I guess it kind of is. I am hoping that by the time I've used this bottle, yeah, it literally says absorbs in seconds. I don't want it to absorb in seconds. I want it to give slip to my foundation, but I'm hoping that if I use this every day until it runs out, I might have found a new love for it. And you know, I paid for this. I bought this with my own money. I want to use it up. So this, is the next Project 10 Pan because we don't have a primer at the moment in the mix. People get confused often about Project 10 Pan and why I add things. Project 10 Pan ends when the 10 original products are empty. Adding the new products just keeps things a little bit more interesting for you guys as well as for me. And it also just encourages me to continue to use up products um, because I have so many and I just don't want them sitting around and they will just go to waste otherwise. It's just a good way to encourage me to use my collection. So how many have I finished up? I've finished, I think I'm halfway through. I think I've finished five of the original. So we're six months in and I've finished five of the original 10, which means it's probably gonna take me about a year to finish this. So 2020, the year I didn't buy any products. I mean, crazier things have happened this year. <laughs> so there you go, you guys. Those are my June favorites. Those are all of the things that I loved and used and watched and consumed 
throughout June. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I've linked all of the items I talked about down below if you'd like to pick any of them up for yourself. Um, I hope you have the best day and I will see you on tomorrow for a What to Wear Wednesday. <laughs>